tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening, everyone. Uh, happy uh, first week of December. It's the first Wednesday of December. And our topic for today uh, will be uh, Volume 3 of our Elemental Business uh, Feng Shui series based on the five elements. So we've done with uh, fire and we've done with wood. Now uh, we're entering the field of uh, earth related businesses. And uh, for that matter, the prime uh, business, uh, very popular that affects everyone from birth to death uh, is real estate or the property business okay so for that purpose i've invited uh, an optimus prime if not uh, primus inter pares uh, uh, real estate practitioner uh, in the country today uh, jocelyn uh, Yumol, who also heads her own uh, realty uh, uh, company which uh, you'll learn about later and uh, we will learn tonight a corollary mantra to the mantra of realtors uh, worldwide they say in real estate the most important consideration when you're gonna sell or buy or invest in a property is Location, location, location. The three L's. If there are four P's of marketing, as we've tackled earlier uh, in one of the episodes with uh, Miss Mia Martinez, professor, uh, the three L's of uh, real estate are location, location, location. But tonight, you will learn another secret behind every location which is Feng Shui related. The corollary mantra of Feng Shui practitioners to real estate practitioners to dovetail that would be Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui. For every property that you will uh, buy, sell, rent, or uh, even inherit, uh, it's best to have it Oh, sweet. Have your so, classmates, virtual classmates, as that have a glimpse of your expertise. Okay, uh, I understand uh, you're like a walking encyclopedia for real estate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there are it's like a karate also. I understand you have various degrees of uh, expertise, right? Uh, how does uh, what are the expertise fields that you have covered and um, uh, have gone thus far in terms of reaching the top of the uh, knowledge ladder? So let's start well, from the bottom. <laughs> Actually, I started out, um, my practically my first job was already real estate. I was involved in mortgages. So that was my training. I was with a government agency. So I'm trying to count. Hmm. Um, I've practically been doing real estate in and out, mostly in or on for about 40 years. Wow. Um, I have been a real estate broker for about 30 years. I am also licensed as a real estate appraiser where I can uh, value properties and I am also licensed with PRC as a real estate consultant where we give out advisory services and where we can even prepare uh, project propositions, proposals or feasibility studies. Apart from that, I am also accredited by PRC as a real estate lecturer I also lecture in our, we, well, I am a national director and an officer of PREBA, which is the premier real estate organization in the country. 
And we have an educational partnership with uh, De La Salle University where we run two times a year an executive diploma program on real estate management, which is almost like a post-grad uh, diploma course. La Salle provides a diploma to the students at the end of the course. It is uh, composed of about six modules and the participants learn everything about real estate from marketing to the legal aspects to how to develop properties uh, what are the highest and best use of properties the financial aspects and then before they graduate they get to um, personally be able to uh, put together a project feasibility study and defend it to the panelists. I handle the module on finance and I lecture also on some subjects like um, taxation. Yeah. So basically those and then I also consolidate properties. Well, I know practically everyone already in the real estate business kasi dito na ako lumaki. Hindi to manda, lumaki lang master. Okay. So you're practically uh, a venerable master of free uh, okay. Yeah, uh, well, in and out, up and down, okay. circle of life. Before, uh, let's add a feather on your cap before we call it a night cap later. Uh, remind me to teach you what they don't teach you or what you fail to teach in La Salle. When it no, comes yes. To real estate, yes. okay? Remind I me, huh? agree, so, master. For uh, everything that I know in real estate, malaki ang aking dependence sa your master. So now, uh, let's proceed with the list. Uh, Joe will uh, read through that. No? Now, these are the five elements, Joe. No? Uh, yeah. As we go along, uh, we will appreciate the interrelationship. There are productive relationship with the five elements and destructive. So destructive yeah. elements... Normally, you avoid as a business. Let's say if you're a wood person, you avoid the uh, unproductive uh, ventures. So if you're wood, it will be productive for fire. So right now, we're on Earth. You will be productive if you're an Earth person with Earth itself, the very element itself. You will be, so to speak, in your own element and the element it produces metal related and fire related okay so uh the relevance of this as we go through the modules will go deeper because based on elements this is also where you can choose partners uh elements depict also the vibes of each person so if you have the same element your magka vibes you think almost the same so while one is still speaking the other one is already seconding the motion in support okay so that's how uh, you appreciate in feng shui the dynamics of human interrelations uh -huh. and not only applied in business but or uh, human interpersonal relations but uh businessmen realtors are also human uh it also applies to their love lives no okay so uh, in choosing the right partner so uh, let's proceed with the list uh Rob. okay business examples and surprise you can also choose this based on the elements as a guide for your vocation or career okay john let's hit the road with the listings so earth-based enterprises are you can be a real estate developer a real estate broker you can also be involved in property management services property leasing or renting out property financing services property classified ads okay. auctioneer of foreclosed second. property services okay also yeah. real estate online marketing service kagaya yan ng mga lamudi yan mm -hmm. real estate selling outsource provider um real estate bridge financing company may nagbe bridge finance pa ba ngayon 
Ay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Dami. Marami pa rin. Oo. Oh, oh. Real estate project management services. Yan, malakas yan. Real estate project construction contractor. Madami yan. Real estate project architectural services. Real estate project design services. Dami, no, master? Real estate interior design services. Exterior design services. Yan, yung uh, pinsan ko, master, si Alvin, nasa exterior design siya ngayon. Yeah. Landscaping services, plant rentals, and maintenance. Sorry, plantitas. Yeah, mga plantito and plantita. Plant rentals and maintenance contractors. Um, uh, Actually, even equipment rentals, master. Okay. And then, project janitorial and maintenance service contractor. So, that's also real estate related, no? Yeah. And then, real estate project mechanical engineering services, civil engineering, waste disposal and management services. Oh, pati water supply is uh, classified as earth-based. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, that's from a personal experience. Uh, uh, I have a a big developer, uh, DDC Land, Sina Martin and Edna Sutter, who develops uh, subdivisions. Ay, 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 ay. They have uh -oh. a contractor, Angeles Base, the Pandillos, who does the water lines of all the houses, including yeah. the services for water metering. Equivalent okay. to what we have in VGC, Balfour, right? Yeah. Services. Okay, okay. so. Meron na rin ganun pala na yeah. outsource. Even uh, yeah. fire hydrants uh, uh, yeah. in subdivision development. Okay? Right, right. Tama ka. And then air conditioning services. Uy! <laughs> Roofing contracting. Okay. Next. Mall leasing services. Food court management services. Mm -hmm. Property security services. Property insurance services, fire protection and safety services, outside window cleaning services, yeah, parking the management. Uh, yeah, dami. Ah, hindi pa. Yeah. Agricultural seed supply for corn, etc. Fertilizer, farm equipment supplies, feed meal, livestock, livestock and poultry feed supply. Rice milling, rice trading, rice hauling, shipping log logistics, rice dealers, rice importer, flour milling, flour importation, flour trading, flour distribution logistics, flour manufacturing. Okay. Uh, wow, okay, meron pa. Master, earth That's moving equipment, say. earth moving uh, sales and leasing. Horizontal development contracting, vertical development contracting, building construction detailing services. Hindi ka mauubusan ng negosyo. Construction ground cleaning, clearing and cleaning services. Let me, construction. Let, let me interject something unique no? uh, when it comes to equipment services, uh, especially related to construction. Only in the Philippines, uh, so far, so far as I know, out of personal knowledge and experience, you encounter during construction a unique field. It's called the paranormal or elementals. Have you heard of such? So, uh, an yon, the extent, they, they delay construction. Like uh, when No Hotel was being constructed, naging client ko yung EEI uh, project manager their construction was delayed for around six months because uh, they cannot hold 24-7 uh, three-shift canteen operations because the canteen personnel from the cooks to the waitresses, the, the help, get raped by an uh, incubus or sometimes even somnibus, a male, female yeah. uh, evil spirit. You know? that uh, scared people. So even security guards uh, resigned from their jobs. No? So no security on site, 
until yeah. we had to have a pong soy cure for it. Yes. Another, another is uh, the typical popular uh, experience in the provinces, especially project sites in along national highways, the elemental spirit called Capre. Okay. So oh, oh. There, there are sightings of this Yeti type of uh, elemental. They play around new back holes, new bulldozers after work, and the next day, this equipment don't run anymore. They're good as broken, okay? Totoo. So, Invent- gravel and sand, quarries, dealership, cement manufacturing, cement dealership, hollow block manufacturing and dealership, concrete products manufacturing, Concrete aggregates business and dealership, batching plant, filling material supplier, gravel and sand, barging, black sand mining, oy, dolomite mining. Oh, <laughs> Not dolomite, <laughs> ha? Gemstone mining, silt dredging, land reclamation services, crematorium service, yeah, columbarium, landfill operations, industrial copra plantation, Tobacco plantation, pine- pineapple plantation, banana plantation, sugar cane, cocoa, ube plantation, tomato farm. So in other words, lahat ng mga crops for farms and orchards, no? plantation. Uh, citrus, grapes, apples, orange, lemon, orchid. Meron pa? Sa list? Uh, Ang, hindi ko nakita, Pit Master, na medyo malakas ngayon. Um, dahil dumadami na sila at saka marami ng mga mga homeowners ang uh, ikaw na eh, really heavily investing in it are yung mga solar pan oh, oh, solar yes. solar panels yeah the solar business because of the um, expensive meralco rates so ang, ang tawag nila doon yung naka grid no yeah parang cogeneration uh, Grid tied uh, with Meralco, yes. I think if you produce more than uh, what you need, Meralco compensates you, right? Uh, yes, meron kang uh, parang rebate, di ba? So you're like a solar plant. You, you have a solar plant. Oh, I have a yeah. client, the Baltaus. They had an idle 100 hectare in Toledo City, Cebu, no? So here's one feng shui case, very interesting. It was, uh, since it was big and was about to be subject to land reform way back in the 70s, uh, they converted it into a livestock farm, a stock farm for carabaos. There's also a technical cure in feng shui. You make an SPA to your son who's year of the snake because he's, I uh, know, he's the, Compatible sign to the Carabao. Oh. So form, he executed a, a one page SPA and trusting the management of the farm to his son. And guess what? His son was Kavarkada ng Sunny Lauren Legarda into solar. Yes. The whole farm was converted into solar. <laughs> okay. So, before you land Cebu from. Uh, Boracay or Iloilo, you'll pass by over Toledo. When you look down, it's a sight to behold. It's like solar a farm. Solar panels. Okay. Oh, so, nice. That's how where interaction of feng shui and the earth uh, business yeah. come in, and also the personalities. Yeah. Okay. So, nice. Uh, you're right on the solar end. Very good. Uh, the pioneer of uh, solar here in the Philippines, I don't know if you've met him. Uh, he became a client of mine, but uh, his idea was so far ahead of its time. Uh, he became a client of mine around 10 years ago. Uh, solar wasn't popular yet, but he was a, a pioneer. He was the right-hand man assistant of uh, Don Enrique Subel, William Pocket. Okay. Oh, so, okay. I think he had done a solar outfit and even solar jeepneys, no? Uh, except that uh, 
people were still uh, <laughs> uh, resistant to the idea of actually uh, yes success also is a matter of timing eh neba and at the time solar it panels came very early good. in the business I always inject my work with love and with care and malasakit neba so you. i called my cousin yung paborito mo si yung architect na Oo, yung pinsan kong arkitekto. I believe in an architect who uses a feng shui. So sabi ko, Alvin, meron ka bang kilalang ano, magaling na feng shui yung ginagamit mo sa sa mga plans mo? Ay, oo, introduce kita. So, in-introduce ka niya sa akin, di ba? And I remember at that time, my gosh, sobrang negative ng mundo ko. Parang, I will say it already right here na ang laki-laki ng financial difficulties ko. So, when I spoke to you and you even gave me your professional fee, I said, eka muna, saan naman ako kukuha ng pambabayad ko dito? Kaya, kaya Aldrich na ito, eh, wala na nga akong pera, magbabayad pa ako. <laughs> you, got, you got initiated to what the Chinese call, uh, ano, Pung Sui is, uh, at the beginning, you spend much. But in yeah, the end, bigat, di ba? You spent very little. Okay. So, uh, so pumayag, well, sabi ko nga, oh, sige na nga, di ba? Um, bayaran na natin here, ito. Maski pa pa, no? The other point you were sharing was uh, a realization that it's a myth what the uh, people think about what the Chinese say that uh, sipag at syaga, no? Like what you've been doing actually, for 24-7. Ano? It yes. You may well, actually, um, I never looked at it as a myth because I believe in uh, the harmony of the elements. Eh. I, yeah, it's it's actually the energy. You're, you're, I'm very aware of that, the energy. And so, I, you know, after talking to you, and I thought about this man naman knows what he's do, doing or talking about. So ayan, nagpamaintain ako kay master, parang uh, two times a year muna, di ba? Parang suddenly, gumaang ang mundo ko, yung nega, mga nega sa paligid ko, nag-disappear sila. Tapos yung trabaho ko, gumaang, tapos lumalaki na rin sila. Hindi lang magaang, lumaki na. So, yung mga maliliit, medyo binitiwan ko na kasi nakakapagod, at saka yung... In fact, yung maliliit, yun doon pa ako nakaka-experience ng mga negative bias kasi yun yung mga may attitude. Anyway, the long and short of it is, before I knew it, wow, may pambili na ako ng aking, ano, nakapagbayad na ako ng aking mga sandamakmak na mga <laughs> tautanan. Maka may pambili na ako ng aking ano, dream house, di ba? Yeah. You started Tapos, to practice what you preach, real estate. You invested in your own real estate, your dream house, and your dream investment house. Uh, yes, and yung company. aking ano, dream dream investment house na yan, hindi ko yun binili hanggang walang approval ni Master Aldrin. <laughs> I appreciated so, no, with you, especially Joe, was, uh, aside from your native intelligence, uh, uh, is that uh, you were growing in your career. As you mentioned, yes. you... You rose from uh, parang yung mga struggling realtors kaya from CPE. Now you're a master, no? You even uh, teach a special module for mastery, no? Uh, in uh, in Lasal, okay? So as a realtor, let's double with uh, some secrets of the trade that uh, same due diligence, real estate, masadong masaming formality, no? So Grab it. now that you have 40 years of uh, flying hours, to, to, so to speak, and they say it takes 10,000 hours for mastery, so you have fourfold mastery, you know, uh, in terms of uh, hours rendered in uh, realty services. Uh, can you share with us uh, one uh, uh, one most difficult? Um, real estate uh, practice experience you've encountered? Actually, you yeah, actually, isa yan, isa sa pinaka-challenging ko. And um, I, I don't think ako lang, no, but many of my fellow practitioners, no, 
talagang ang issue nila always, especially when they sell big properties, VAT. Kasi si BIR talagang, gusto niya talaga yung may VAT eh. Kasi after all, VAT is 12%. And if you're talking hundreds of millions of pesos na transaction, magkano yung 12% no? Di ba? Malaki. So, ako, nagkaroon ako ng deal. Straight yung, straight yung buyer sa akin, straight yung uh, seller sa akin din, no? Um, but because I knew the, ikaw nga eh, the theory and I am aware of the revenue circulars of BIR, yung isang sale ko na malaki din, eh alam ko, but exempt. Dinala ko yan si BIR, nagkabayaran na eh, inaayos ko na yung papel eh. so maganda na yung komisyon ko, kumita na ako, ginastas ko na yung iba. Pagkatapos, pagdating ko sa BIR, yung magandang uh, nag-entertain sa akin, pinipilit niya na covered ng VAT yun. So, we're talking about how many millions in VAT. So, when I returned to the seller and I told the seller na ano to, na covered ng VAT ito, sabi ng seller, aba, eh, ibabalik ko na lang yung, ano, yung bayad. Kasi binigay ko na nga ng mura yan eh. So, na-nervous ako pagka binalik yung bayad ng bayad. Kaya ibabalik ko rin ang komisyon ko, hindi ba? Eh, medyo nagalaw ko na yon So, yun. Um, Siyempre, kailangan pagka mga ganyan, solution-oriented ka eh. Of A lot course. of uh, hidden cost of doing business in real estate investment. No, but Another that's why, one. Master, it is very important for those who are thinking about investing in real estate to deal only with licensed professionals because licensed professionals are trained to give you the lowdown on making an investment. Kasi ang nangyayari kung magre-rely ka lang sa untrained salesman or kung minsan colorum. Colorum meaning hindi siya man lang... Uh, accredited no or trained talagang bibili ka kasi ang sasabihin lang nila sa iyo yung maliit lang pero bigla ka na lang magugulat na marami pa lang mga hidden costs that's why you only deal with a licensed professional and that is what the re- the real estate service act or the law on real estate Uh, intends to really accomplish to be able to provide the public with professionals who can properly orient and service buyers. Yon. Yes, another discovery beyond the professionalism with all due respect to realtors, they're doing their job well, especially the licensed one. It, they, they fall victim to the consequence of design Uh, I call this design anomalies of architects, okay, and yeah. designers, uh, because you know, architects charge by fees uh, per square meter that is covered by a roof. Yeah. Okay? So what they do, they extend a lot of canopies, they develop a lot of balconies. So more per square meter, more architectural fees. Uh, of course, the developer. of the project is busy as long as the aesthetics are okay they won't mind no and it's up to the marketing or realty realtor group to market but the poor consumer once they yes. buy it they realize that due to deed restrictions you have a large balcony you cannot even dry clothes <laughs> you cannot even put a sofa set or you cannot even plant trees or uh, yeah. uh, your favorite plants or even put your pet dog there okay so it's going to be idle it was just meant for what normally most architects and architectural teams do smoke it's just like they call the cancer room okay so can you yes. imagine pound for pound per square meter you pay so much and Monthly, you will carry the burden of the common cost per square meter covering that. I mean, you only go with the uh, um, respectable, the more respectable developers. Kasi marami dyan mga developer talagang 
hindi nila inaaral yung mga bagay na yan. Pag hindi nila inaaral mabuti yan, ang mga nagsasuffer talaga is the poor consumer buyer. Eh, kawawa naman yan. Kung minsan nang bibili pa dyan yung mga OFW, di ba, na talagang binubuhos yung pinagkakitaan nila. Notice the gap between uh, industrialization. No? Uh, yes. It's a pretense that we're a third world country. Uh, when I've done some feng shui in Singapore, condos or villas in Japan, you know, the developer is so professional. It's like they have their own ISO uh, standards. Everything yes. is manualized down to the last cabinet, to the last key they turn over to you in detail. Uh, with the quality control. Uh, Marami naman tayong developer na naganyan ngayon, Master. Wala pa. Wala pa. <laughs> meron, meron. In meron fairness. Na? Uh, uh-huh. Yes, meron But na tayong mga ganyan. Mga Ayala, Rockwell. Uh, they, ano naman, they, they are very professional in turning over. And then, um, they also train their uh, everybody from the broker uh, from the sellers no all the way down to their property managers so That's trained true. naman yan kaya nga ang sinasabi ko dapat mamili din tayo ng ating binibilhan wag tayong nagpapakuha sa ano sa buladas ng salesman oh. no because marami namang options talaga at saka dapat talaga tatanungin mo yun to learn to ask the right questions. Ano ba yung condominium juice? Ano ba yung mga bawal dyan? Yung date of restrictions? But we have all those in place and uh, mga, we, during... Sa, no, yeah, the... There's no truth in advertising app. Ah, like, hindi na nga. Controlled na ngayon yan, Master. This January... Uh, one of our advocacies, which was to create the Department of Housing, came true. So, nung January 1, nagkaroon na ng bagong department, no? government department, which is the Department of Housing. And hopefully, this is the one that will be able to regulate and address all those concerns that you raised. Mo. Just really to be able to, to benefit our consumers, our buyers. Just uh, let me cite, uh, let's say, three examples. Uh, Uh, first, uh, a condominium development registered with HLURB yeah. with all the billboards and all the pamphlets. The representation was this is an open park. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then, since real estate became more expensive and attractive, at a certain point in time, there's a changing of rules in the game. Violating HLURB, they start building another tower on that park. Okay. To the consternation of the original investors because mm-hmm. some investors they invested out of the concept of aesthetics they bought because of the panoramic view of the city from their condominium balcony or window then suddenly it will be covered by another building so yeah that's why remember was you were like a bank na lahat ng difficult uh, customers they weed out <laughs> okay na small accounts at that no ni naman, alam mo, marami din tayong mga difficult, pagka mga gano'n na may pera, they are difficult, no? They're really difficult, especially at the beginning. But if you show them that you know what you're doing, that you're willing to help, that, uh, you know, um, you still know better than them pagdating sa, sa industriya, they eventually respect you. And, you know, in fact, ang, ang, ano ko nga, ang naging experience ko nga is, If eventually, because there is nothing that I offer them that they like, pagka meron silang kaibigan o kamag-anak na naghanap ng, uh, ng broker because gustong bumili o gustong magbenta, ako pa rin ang kanilang nire-refer. Why? Because, you know, I've never really uh, face a client looking at him as money. Hindi ko sila pinapakyu, <laughs> master. <laughs> Oo. Ando na ko para lang talaga tumulong. That's always my intention, makatulong, makapagpaliwanag. And uh, eventually I gain their respect. So that's I think how my business grew, how my area of uh, my how my network and how my area of work uh, prospered. 
uh, kaya marami kong oras to do the organizational work, to do some education. At saka doon din naman nang gagaling yung aking mga sources of business. Hindi sila actively hinahanap. Hindi ako pumapasok sa isang lugar para magtanong ng ano bang mapapagkakitaan dito. I'm, I'm very quiet but you know, after I talk, people start trusting me. And I think in these kinds of businesses, trust is very important. After planning a project, pati yan, pati yung profile ng, mag, ng target market mo, inaaral yan. That's how they come up with the design, uh, you know, the, the design planning of a project. Of course, what is a project if you cannot sell it, no? And yes, one exactly. One of the of uh, selling is, is really uh, the financial packaging. And this is yes. another bug in the tricks of the trade. In fact, I yes. have one client, he's proud that in the industry, uh, during crisis, some way, sometime, he was with Phil Estate, as I mentioned. Uh, his boss asked him how to solve the glut. There was a glut in the market for properties, not just condos and others. So. He came out with a simple idea. Since everything is the same, you will have to amortize when you do a bank loan or in-house financing. He termed it rent to own. Yeah, from there, yeah, na-uso, yeah. Na-uso yung rent to own. Diyan nagsimula, oo. Yeah, for me, right now, the indication if I see a development that's uh, rent to own, is affected by a glut. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. Okay. That so began in sometime in mga 19 yung Asian financial crisis no mga 1997, uh, 1997 98. Yung yeah. Financial crisis. 97 so medyo nahirapan sila kasi ang daming bumitiw sa kanilang mga loans. Yeah. The dollar shot up from uh, 28 to uh, 40 plus. 40 plus, yeah. And most of the developers were borrowing from uh, foreign sources uh, yeah. because uh, it, it was like cheaper uh, but uh, when the dollar exchange rate changed so there were times three indebted <laughs> yeah that hit. Okay. so what's your take on the other packages that uh, after a certain down payment you can already move in yeah may, may mga ganong mga um, mga schemes, iba-iba ang mga scheme ng mga developer to be able to attract uh, buyers. Eh. But yes, um, pretty much after so yung yeah, mga 10% to move in, ganon. Uh-huh. Yeah, and but the uh, that's easy to do when you are selling a condominium because uh, you know, with condominiums then you have professional managers who can always kick out those who are unable to service their uh, monthly amortization or their obligations, hindi ba? Pero pagka sa bahay yan, mahirap yan. Okay. Ah, there's a who got in real estate, actually. That's uh, the whole political reason behind the cha-cha movement. Uh, I don't know if you agree, no? Uh, is foreigners owning land that's why they ah, yeah. charter, charter chains to allow foreign ownership of land because right now only condominiums can be owned no? uh, or the 60-40 uh, rule no? yeah so uh, it seems that that's the real political motivation or business motivation or vested interest motivation so big landholders Uh, be it from illicit or legal sources, they can unload their uh, properties, of course, at a better price to foreigners. No? Uh, next would be uh, ah, the Fogo issue, okay, uh, which will bring us to one special topic in real estate, uh, which I learned from you, okay. Uh, how islands can be sold to Chinese uh, investors like Fogo, like I think this I- small island in Cavite, uh, through one instrument called per- Perpetual Usufruct. Uh, Without really losing ownership, no, um, 
a party can practically sell the use for life no of a of his property kanya pa rin pero pwede niyang i out for life yung property to a foreigner yeah as it is is already very scarce for our very own countrymen ibebenta mo pa yan sa mga develop ay sa mga foreigners biglang tataas pa yung valuation which will lead to very unaffordable prices already for Filipinos. So, so this, before we know it, our country might already be owned by foreigners. And I, I don't uh, personally agree to that. And I'm and glad... I, ironically, it's within the bounds of the Constitution, right? Well, I hope... I hope it won't happen. I hope that we will have a no, change I mean, of government the, soon. Sorry. The use of rock... Uh, uh, and that is fine. That is fine. Avoidance, yeah. In terms yeah. of uh, foreign owners. That is fine because whatever they do, they will never really own the property. Ah, yeah. It's just perpetual That's, use. Uh, yeah. At any point in time, the use of rack can be taken back by the owner. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, uh, last would be an appreciation of use of rack from a feng shui practice, which uh, I shared with you backstage. Yeah. And this will be very educational for, uh, I don't know, for the matriarchs or the patriarchs or families. But uh, it concerns estate. I learned this from uh, the case of a, a client who was the wife of uh, the former owner of St. Luke's. Yeah, uh, William Quasha. Attorney, attorney Bill Quasha. Yeah. So when he died, he left an estate, a use of rock. But this time it's a conditional use of rock. On certain conditions, uh, several pieces of property was owned already by his hospital foundation, St. Luke's. Uh-uh. Uh, and uh, the three properties, the fruits of that, she can still. His wife can stay there or enjoy the rent of the other properties for as long as she does not get married to another man. Okay, so that one has a condition. So something, uh, a new learning for me and hopefully for yeah. others, Ma- but how to make a sound use of your uh, uh, estate. <laughs> Yes, Master. Actually, it also, you know, um, yung mga separation of properties for, um, how would you call it? Anal? Hindi naman anal. Yung medyo nang, nag-ibang bahay na mga, <laughs> ng mga uh-huh. husbands, ganun. Pag medyo may pera sila, ang ginagawa nila, yung mga properties, para madali yung hiwalayan, yung mga properties, lalagay nila sa pangalan ng mga anak. Pero yung iiwan, ibibigay niya yung isang malaking bahay na may nakalagay na na may na perpetual covered by perpetual use of rock hanggang buhay siya kahit na nasa pangalan ng mga anak yon she can use it yeah benefit okay. yeah of course may mga conditions yan dapat talaga kukuha ka ng magagaling na abogado para protektado hindi lang ikaw pati anak mo ang mga condition diyan pag yung perpetual use of rock dapat hindi ka mag mag-asawa ulit, di ba? Uh-huh. Uh, hindi ka mag-uwi ng lalaki doon. May mga ganon. Uh-huh. Faithful ng donation noon are number one, ang taas ng dona- donor's tax. No? Number two, so ang ginagawa ngayon ng mga ano, instead na donor's uh, donation or deed of donation, deed of sale ang ginagawa nila. They execute a deed of sale to their own children, which is Actually, alam na alam mo, nang niloloko ag- or sinisirconvent sinis- yung law, hindi ba? So, pagpunta naman nila sa BIR, kini-question sila ng, ng uh, taxman, hindi ba? Sabi ni taxman, bakit mo binibenta yung property sa anak mo? Eh, pagka dinonors tax mo yan, iba ang tax, mas mataas. May nang tutunan na akong ganyan sa isang client ko, Chinese, ang ginawa niya, pinapalabas niya may utang yung anak sa kanya. Which is, hindi ba? Which is preposterous. Yes. Yes. Payment of property. Yes. So, 
ngayon, para hindi na lumulusot ang mga tao, flat 6%, even on donor tax. So, hindi mo na kailangan dayain yung dokument. Shera Charlie, Master, what are the elements an earth person must avoid in business and relationships? Ah, you should avoid, of course, uh, water, uh, investment in water, uh, any property that has, uh, let's say, a beach resort or a swimming pool, and a water person. Yeah, after this pandemic, actually, there have been several studies that have been made by different uh, experts. And apparently, the real estate uh, sector or industry is pretty stable, no? And uh, we expect that the industry will almost immediately overcome the pandemic and uh, rebound in about three years. Uh, the first to rebound would be the industrial sector. Siyempre, uh, that means a lot of um, economic activity, no? we be able to do a lot of production and then what follows will be the commercial and office uh, sectors. So, dadami na ang mga business na mga kailangan ng mga pwesto at saka opisina. And then, kasunod na dyan, of course, pag matatag na ang uh, bansa, and, uh, you know, it won't be hard because our economic fundamentals pre-COVID has always been good, no? And we somehow uh, even with the jump uh, from uh, or you know between governments and uh, different presidents uh, the economic managers have always been good and uh, have managed the, econ- uh, the economic recovery plan of the country so magiging kasunod na yung residential so kung ano man ang hawak ninyo ngayon huwag kayong nervyusin kasi pagdating sa real estate matatag yan. May nakalimutan yeah. yung itanong, what's the best real estate? Yes, what's the best real estate? Yun nga pala, o. Oh. Uh, this one is not taught in school. Yes. Even Lasal or UP or Harvard. Oh. Okay? It's true love, what you've been looking for. <laughs> okay? You get the point? <laughs> you get the point, ja? Okay? Hindi eh. <laughs> Oh, hindi ba? Ay, dako. You have to understand it to have it. Okay? So, Explain mo. If I were, uh, you were David Carradine and I were that old man in the movie. So, Grasshopper, please learn. Uh, you ask uh, your cousin Alvin what true love is. Sige, tanungin ko. Na, in full Okay. Point. There's one only one last line definition before we go. You know, if it's true love, if your lover, admirer, will only have one spirit in your love life. I agree. Yeah. And what you know, what's the spirit? Yeah, no. It's the spirit of gratitude. Okay. Yeah, yes. Always thankful to you, no. Mira mo, ginagustusan mo na siya. <laughs> uh, Totoo yun. Ako, I can't ever be... I'm so thankful for everything. And uh, okay. to the viewers here, yung last word ko is, if you can afford Master Aldrich, he's the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He is tayo, the best. Uh, hindi tayo naghahabol ng, ano, ng, ng kliente dito sa... Oh, by the way, I'd like to I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So, as a parting shot, lang, I'd like to congratulate. I'm so happy for her, Governor Gwen Garcia, yeah. for winning a real estate case <laughs> against sir uh, in Cebu. No? Uh, uh, I agree wholeheartedly to her quip. Her quip is, truth is always stronger than fiction. Okay. Yo. So, uh, uh, a nice parting word and uh, until next time, Joe. Remember. Thank you, Master. Real estate, the true love, huh? uh, And then uh, spirit of gratitude. Ng bayan, 
Hong Soi. Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.